Hey guys, I'm Jay. Thanks for stopping by. I want to start things off with a question for you guys. Um, how many of you have, have purchased a knife based on reviews that you either read or watched only to receive the knife in the mail and suddenly realize, you know what, this, this is not at all what I expected. Well, that's happened to me a few times, which is why today my goal is to give you the most accurate, honest depiction of this knife using some, some visual aids. So we have a lot to talk about. This is the Viper Vox Fortis, made by Viper Knives, uh, designed by Jasper Voxnays. Jasper. You're looking at uh, three and a half inches of M390 blade steel with a spine thickness of about four millimeters. You see that? Rounded spine too, by the way. Now the width of this blade is 1.2 inches. So that would be from this point to this point that I measured. Uh, the blade is riding on an enclosed bearing system. Now you might notice there's two different variations here before you. Uh, the G10 on one side, titanium on the other, and the other is full titanium scales. The handle is about four and three quarter inches long. So from there to there with a spine, the uh, handle thickness, the spine is 11 millimeters. So let's go ahead and compare that to a pencil. Just your regular handy dandy standard number two pencil. So as you can see, a little thicker than that pencil. The weight of these guys uh, is actually very impressive. We're looking at 4.1 ounces for G10, 4.8 ounces for the full titanium. So I wanted to show you guys what 4. Point inches, 4.1 inches uh, actually well, feels like. So let's put these on here. We got one, two, three, four, and five. So the weight of the G10 version is the same as five AA batteries. So everybody's got double A's, right? Or for you younger whippersnappers out there that are into chicken nuggets and email, a Gen 6 iPhone weighs the same as the G10. Nice. Now, I don't think I mentioned the other variations. Now, this is the G10 version. Both have a stonewash finished blade and full titanium. The G10 actually comes in a couple different flavors. There's orange, there's olive drab, and carbon fiber. Oh man, that one looks really, really nice, carbon fiber. Let's bring in a comparison, a couple comparisons. We'll bring in two comparisons, two other knives. Um, let's get the scale out of the way there. Pretty close in size. That's the uh, Cold Steel Code 4. And Zero Tolerance 0562. Similar. Or here's one other. This one's also an M390 blade steel. The Doug Ritter uh, Griptilian. Let's get these out of the way. 
and let's talk about some of the uh, well the features uh, we're going to start on the inside excuse me we're going to start on the outside and work our way in now did you notice the the spine that rounded spine which looks really really nice not good if you use your knives to to strike fire sticks or the ferrocium rods because it just won't happen and I know what you're thinking well I can just use the choil well, unfortunately you can't because that is also rounded as well so if you are a person that strikes the spine of their knives on the fire stick to create sparks this knife would not be good for that at all the choil on the other hand is very very comfortable because of that roundness now you might notice the absence of jimping which yes there is none but you know what I don't think it really needs it I mean the flipper provides a really nice guard so your hand is not going to slide forward and you know what I just lied to you guys because there is jimping on the flipper itself which would be yeah, the only spot the action on this is manual as you can see and these knives can actually be deployed uh, three different ways standard deployment with the flipper spidey flick which is one of my favorites I could freaking do this like all day long I love it and the traditional uh, thumb hole deployment let's talk about the screws for for a minute the pivot screws as you can see there's actually you can adjust the pivot on both sides with a number eight Torx the body screws are actually threaded into each other so one side is female the other side is male so if you strip one out you can actually you can replace one of the screws as opposed to some other knives where the threading is actually into the scale I mean what are you gonna do if you strip that like get a new scale I mean probably not so that's really nice this is a frame lock a very well done frame lock by the way because now I'm left-handed and when I deploy my knife my thumb just kind of naturally rests here on the frame lock now you know with some knives that doesn't really work out too well this one it does so it doesn't matter if you have your finger your thumb on the frame lock still deploys like a dream both versions let's, let's see titanium yep very nice the backspacer and the clip are actually really neat uh, they both have this bluish gray anodization the clip as you can see is a, a milled style which also leads to my least favorite favorite thing of this knife and that being well the clip I just wish Jasper would have made this a little deeper riding clip because right about here that's about how much is going to be sticking out of your pocket which I know it's not it's not a lot but it you know to me it is I guess it's it's a lot for me I've looked for aftermarket clips I 
haven't been able to find one that will fit. I know there is one other option, which I hesitate to do, and that is to modify the clip with, the, with my Dremel. That is a last resort kind of thing, which I probably won't do because knowing me, I'll just end up, you know, jacking it up and then I'll cry. So the clip drives me nuts. Good looking clip. Does actually provide a nice platform for my thumb being a lefty. Not that it's needed because it opens nice with your finger on the frame lock, but if you use the clip as a platform with, there we go. Moving along to the inside of this knife, we already talked about the bearing system, the enclosed bearings. This knife actually has a very, very nice detent. Not too strong, not too weak, just, just friggin' right. So, it does not shake open like some knives because when it shakes open, oh my gosh, this just drives me nuts. Not, not with this. So very nice detent. The stop pin is actually good size. Nice beefy external stop pin. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah. There is an over travel stop on the frame lock. And with the relief cut, I don't know if you can see that, actually facing inwards, which I really like. I like, it just kind of keeps a clean look. Now, let's talk about the price. I know. G10 comes in at around $165. The titanium is about 215, so 215.00. Now, would I recommend this knife? Absolutely. I mean, think about think about what you're getting. I mean, you're getting three and a half inches M390 steel with decent thickness, bearings, titanium, good weight. But the clip, the clip drives me bananas. That is, I mean, this would be, I know the perfect knife does not exist, but this one would is would have been very very close if i can fix the clip problem okay but until that day oh it just drives me nuts it keeps me up at night thinking about the clip so i highly recommend this knife it's a good value excellent quality i mean i showed you the action already how nice Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. I can do this no problem off camera, but of course on camera. Here we go. Nice. Not ZT nice, but it is nice. Nice enough for me. So yes, I, I highly recommend these knives. Now, if there are any questions that you might have, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I mean, even yeah, any comments, any criticism, you know, Jay, you're an idiot. I'll read them, respond to them. So until then, I'd like to, uh, again, thank you guys for stopping by. And I really hope that this review gives you the uh, confidence to either go out and purchase this or, or pass on it. So thanks again, guys. Take care.